Hi, my name is Wayne Walker. I am your hypnotist. And if you're looking at this video, you are doing so by invitation only. Uh, the link has been sent to you because we're going to be doing some sessions on or over Skype. Uh, and this video is not uh, out for the general viewing public on YouTube, if you will. I would appreciate if you kept it, uh, the link to yourself and not send it around. But be that as it may, uh, what we're about to do is what we call a pre-talk in uh, the hypnosis world. And that pre-talk is designed to educate you a little bit about hypnosis, what to expect during your se session. And this is the same pre-talk that I would use when I'm sitting down with a person or sitting in front of a person. It usually takes about 15, 20 minutes. So by doing it now and in the comfort of your own home, we can bypass that and not have to do this and, and you can go back and watch it as many times as you feel uh, necessary. Now understand this, that this uh, video uh, is going to explain some things to you about hypnosis but it also is going to give you some instructions on what do you need to do to prepare for our hypnosis session over Skype. Now I will t tell you this, that when I do sessions with people on Skype over the internet like we're doing right now, I tend to get people that are that will go into hypnosis a lot quicker and much more deeply uh, in in the beginning, uh, and as well as throughout. But what I'm saying is, people are tend to more more comfortable because you're at home or you're someplace where you're comfortable, uh, whether it's your office or, or that. So there's that level of stress drops and you're more relaxed, which is a very important thing. Uh, you only need three things to go in hypnosis. One is you need an IQ above 60 or 70. Uh, you need the willingness to go into hypnosis because all hypnosis is self-hypnosis. You allow it to happen. If you don't want it to happen, it's not going to happen. Okay. The third thing is, is that you have to be able to follow instructions, be able to concentrate. And what I mean by that is this, is when I ask you to picture, pretend, or imagine something in your own mind's eye, having the concentration enough to do that and to follow suit will allow you to go into hypnosis that much more quickly. Okay? So if you have any questions uh, after we're done here, please feel free to email me. My email is wayne at reflectivemindhypnosis.com or you can visit my website, which is reflectivemindhypnosis.com. Get some information there. and We can go over some stuff and and the uh, main thing is it just make you totally comfortable. Now, hypnosis has been around for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, the average person goes in and out of hypnosis every day, anywhere from five to seven times a day. If you've ever driven from point A to point B and don't really remember how you got to point B, you've been in hypnosis. Uh, if you've ever daydreamed, you've been in a form of hypnosis. If you've ever heard athletes or, or, or people talking about being in the zone, they are in hypnosis, okay? So it's a very natural thing. Uh, I always tell people that, that, you know, even in the Bible, it references in several different places in the Bible uh, concerning trance, being in the trance and doing what other people have told them to do. And if you read the entire text of the, of, of the Bible or that uh, uh, section, if you will, uh, you can see where that can be uh, a form of hypnosis. So once again, it's been around for thousands of years. It's nothing special. There's, I'm not, I don't hold any special powers. I'm not a psychic or, or anything like that. I don't proclaim to be. Uh, so it, it's a simple thing. I've just been to school and then I've done a lot of studying with people. I've watched people uh, I've done a lot of studying outside of hypnosis uh, into the mind, personalities, eye movements, uh, that sort of thing, handwriting analysis. Uh, so uh, all of these things coming together enables me to be able to work with people very effectively into making changes that they've decided uh, to make and that they've decided on utilizing hypnosis to do. Now, I've got to tell you, congratulations on that. If you've never been hypnotized, you're in for an amazing, amazing treat. I'm going to demystify it for you. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can utilize hypnosis on a daily basis yourself uh, to institute changes. Uh, I always like to tell people this, is I am a conductor. 
you are a musician. Your musical instrument is you. You know how to play that instrument better than anybody else in the world. All right? I don't know how to play your instrument, but I can facilitate an environment to allow you to play that instrument much better. So I'm going to lead you down the road to hypnosis. So that's how I explain it to people, and we're going to have a, a, a real good time in doing it. We're going to do uh, some really interesting things. We're going to probably, or you're going to probably make some discoveries about yourself. Uh, and nothing happens into a vacuum. When you start working on an area uh, that you're trying to improve utilizing hypnosis, it will, in fact, affect other parts of your life in a very positive way. Now, let me explain the subconscious mind to you. The subconscious mind cannot, cannot tell the difference between a lie and the truth. It just is. The subconscious mind is there to store everything that's happened to you. It never forgets. It is number one. Its number one uh, priority is to protect you. Now, it may, be, it may go around that or go about that in ways that are not the best ways only simply because that's what's been programmed into it while you were under hypnosis since the day you were born. Uh, the children, until they hit puberty, are in a constant state of hypnosis. Uh, that's why they learn languages faster. That's why they uh, learn uh, how to do things so much more quickly and retain them much more quickly is because they are in a constant state of hypnosis. And I can go on and on and that, but I would encourage you to go to my website, read a little bit about it. If it facilitates questions, uh, you know, you can put book up, books up on hypnosis, self-hypnosis. Uh, they're all out there. They all cover a lot of the same things said different ways. So that's what I would encourage you to do. Now, as we go into hypnosis, what am I going to do? I'm going to do what they call an induction. An induction is the first beginning parts of the process of hypnosis, of the actual session. This pre-talk happens first off. It happens one time. The induction is the process of taking you from point A, a waking state, waking state to point B, into a trance-like state or sleep-type state. Now, you'll hear a lot of times hypnotists talking about sleep or hypnosis being referred to as sleep. It's not, in fact, sleep. However, the word hypnosis, the first part of that comes from, well, the word hypnosis comes from the Greek word hypno, meaning sleep. And hypno was actually a Greek god of sleep. So that's why the, the, the relationship uh, to, to, to this state, it's, again, it's not actually sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. But the process of taking that and, and utilizing that term is very important because when I say sleep to a person, they understand it. I don't have to, I don't have to say anything else. I just say sleep. And when I say that word to a person, they know what it is, they know what it feels like, and all these different things is. So if I can get them to relate that to what we're going to be doing, it just relaxes people. All right. So remember that word sleep. It's going to become a very important uh, word. Now, the induction is a, prog a progressive state of relaxation of taking you from here and getting you down to here. All right. Let's say you're on a scale of 10 right now. We want to get you down to a 1. That's our goal. Now, we may only get you down to a 3 or a 4 or a 5, and that's okay. That's just a, a lighter state of hypnosis. But the more times that we do this, the deeper you will go each and every time. All right? So all that you have to do is pay attention, be able to picture, imagine, or pretend. Just follow that, and then follow instructions. If I ask you a question, and I'll tell you before we our session starts, typically I'll ask you, I'll, I'll say something to you to the effect of, uh, if I ask you any questions, I'm going to, uh, from this point forward, I don't want you to answer me verbally. All I want you to do is answer me non-verbally, either by shaking, shaking your head yes for yes, 
or nodding at no for no, but you'll never answer me in a, in a, in a verbal sense. Do you understand that? And people will go, oh, I absolutely understand. No, 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 you're not listening. From this point on, you will not answer me. So it's listening and paying attention is very, very important, okay? And then once we get you into hypnosis, then we start to deal with the issue at, at hand of dealing with the subconscious. Because once we deal with the subconscious and make these changes, then it's yours for life. Uh, as I said, the, the, the subconscious mind can't tell the difference between a lie or the truth that just is. It's an event. It's something. The only way that we tell whether it's a lie or the truth or make those decisions is on a conscious level. Once it comes to the forefront of the conscious mind, we go, oh, oh that's wrong or that's the truth or well, that's a lie. Well, the sky is green. Well, no, it's blue because that's a conscious level. All right, because you're putting thought behind that and you're making a decision of either to go left or right, make a decision, yes or no, or, or truth or lie. Okay, very simple. So as you go into this state of hypnosis and get down there, and then we go into uh, the process of hypnosis, and we're dealing with things on a subconscious level, and I typically work with the, uh, a script or notes or that to make sure that I'm covering the things that I want to cover and make sure that I word it specifically the way that I want it worded for you because everybody takes information and processes them in a different way. So it's very important it's very important that I present that information to you in that way. And then once we get done, then we're going to do what they call termination. Termination is a process of which I bring you out of hypnosis into your waking state. Now they say that 15 minutes of, of hypnosis is equal to about two to three hour power nap. Okay, it's very effective. You're going to wake up or you're going to come out of your, your hypnotic state or your trance-like state. You're going to be feeling very refreshed. Uh, you're going to be feeling very uh, into yourself, very connected to yourself. And it's going to be very enjoyable for you. So as long as you've got that understanding, then everything else will kind of fall into place. But again, as I said earlier, if you have questions, feel free to email me, Wayne at Reflective Mind Hypnosis .com. That's Wayne at Reflective Mind Hypnosis .com. Or Reflective Mind Hypnosis .com is the website. Go there and you can uh, get any questions that you may have answered at that point. All right. Uh, that is pretty much it. I don't have anything else to uh, right now. I don't want to bog anything down too much uh, leave you with this information uh, but I am looking forward with your session and you are going to be absolutely amazed at, at what the possibilities are and what you're going to walk away from with this session or these sessions all right I'll see you on the backside bye